Hi, greetings and welcome. I'm John Ephraimson with the Lynch Lab at Duke University, and I am excited to introduce to you the Biosampler, an affordable, open source, automated sampling solution for bioreactors. The Biosampler will take up to 10 microcentrifuge tube samples from a bioreactor at a user defined sample interval and chill them to a desired temperature set point. A peristaltic pump pulls fluid using two pinch valves to direct flow from either a bioreactor source, cleaning solution, or sterile filtered air to move the fluids through tubing up to a blunt sample dispensing needle. The Cartesian system locates the needle over a sample tube and then a user defined volume is dispensed before returning the needle to hover over a waste receptacle and then a cleaning cycle will run between samples. The sample block uses a Peltier thermoelectric cooler and has been validated for temperatures between room temperature and four degrees Celsius. Over a 30 hour cycle, we have observed less than 1% evaporation from these samples, allowing you to take samples for at least a day before resetting. Two fluid sensors validate a successful sampling and log data is recorded to the Raspberry Pi controller, which can be accessed and controlled wirelessly. There are many benefits to the biosampler, starting with the ability to take samples at odd hours, overnights, and during weekends, saving time and labor. Auto sampling from bioreactors reduces error, increases reproducibility, and offers improved aseptic handling when compared to manual sampling. Commercial sampling units do exist already, however, these are quite expensive in the twenty to hundred thousand dollar range with varying complexity. The biosampler costs approximately $700 to build and is constructed from easily sourced materials and 3D printed parts, making it accessible for academic labs and those on tighter budgets. Physical space commands an added expense, so the biosampler was designed with the smallest footprint we could manage, with a resulting 9.5 by 4 inches, making it considerably smaller than almost all commercial models. The design is durable, making it resistant to hurried researchers with a tendency to overuse equipment, which reminds me. Please don't break our new equipment, Mike. Finally, being open source, all the design files and software necessary for the biosampler are available to you for free. If you're interested, I've prepared a few more instructional videos to guide you through the assembly as well as the software and operation of the biosampler, so take a look at those. I do want to thank you for taking the time to follow along here. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out and let us know what you think. Thanks again and happy sampling. Hey again, I just wanted to take a quick second here to acknowledge the support we received for this project from DMC Biotechnologies, as well as the guidance from Dr. Michael Lynch. Thanks for helping make it happen.